Okay, so you're sitting around watching videos trying to figure out if Midland, Texas is a good place for you to move to. Well, there's a lot of people that are moving in here, but there's also a lot of people that are moving out. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the top five reasons that people are actually moving out of Midland, Texas. Hey there, my name is Jacoby Kendrick with the Bolt Real Estate Group here in Midland, Texas. I am your number one resource for all things real estate here in the area. All right, so let's get right into it. The number one reason why people are moving out of the Midland area is just because they came here for the wrong reasons. And a lot of folks move here for the money. That's right, they move here for the green. And once they get here, they realize that maybe they gave up a few things that they probably shouldn't have, and they end up to have a little bit of, I guess you could say, buyer's remorse. And then they get here and they decide, hey, this probably isn't the place for me. Now, it is really a good place for you to make a living, to be able to work and to support a family or whatever you wanna do, just find new beginnings. But that is often the case is why people are moving is they're just not used to the lifestyle. As a matter of fact, a lot of people that work here in the area, they sometimes work, you know, like two weeks on, one week off. And a lot of folks actually, they just come here to the area, they work for their two weeks and then they fly out and leave we have a international airport here, so it is actually easy to get in and out. And a lot of times what happens is, which takes me to point number two, is that there's just not a lot to do here in Midland, Texas. People are moving in here from a lot of bigger cities. We have grown tremendously here in the past five, six years or so, but people are not used to not having things to do, right? And so if you're looking for things to do and you're coming from a place like Dallas or Austin, San Antonio, Houston, then Midland is gonna be a little bit of a shock to you. Now we do have things to do and in, in we've done a really good job of revitalizing some areas. For instance, downtown, we've got Centennial Park and there's a lot of restaurants and a lot of business development that is going on down there. And then also, you know, we've got Green Acres, which just recently opened up again. We have Bolero where you can bowl. And then there's also a lot of nice bars and uh, restaurants here as well. But those are really few and far between. Really good for our area and especially where we've come from if you are a native of Midland. But it, like I said, if you're coming from Dallas or something like that, we don't have Top Golf. We don't have indoor skydiving. We don't have all of the bars and things. And so that is oftentimes a shock to people. As a matter of fact, as a native Midlander, the thing we know is that we work here, we raise our families here. And then what we're gonna do is if we wanna go somewhere, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave on the weekends. It's not uncommon for people to have second houses at the lake where you go out, have fun, ride jet skis, wakeboard, do that whole thing and then come back to town uh, during the week. And so that is a really common occurrence uh, for us here. But if you're moving from out of the area and moving in here and you don't know that, that could possibly be a shock to you. All right, number three. Number three is, is that people just can't find anywhere to live. Now, when people move into the area, a lot of times people move here, they decide to rent, or oftentimes we have people get short-term leasing for them to come in, get used to the area, and then actually buy a place. And so the median and the average price here in Midland is pretty close. It fluctuates between 300,000 and 330,000. And so in that price range, you know, it's really, really competitive. Above that price range, you can usually find something that you're looking for. But if you're at the average median price or below, there just aren't a lot of houses for you to choose from. As a matter of fact, we have always been in a seller's market here in Midland since I've been selling real estate and that's been since 2015. And so there just aren't enough houses here. And then also the builders, they're building, but they're just not building enough houses, number one, for the growth that we've had. And then number two, just to keep up with who's already been here as well. And so you usually have two different types of houses, right? You have houses that are either new or you've got houses that have been fixed up and renovated. And those houses are really, really competitive. And you're usually gonna have, you know, multiple offers and, you know, sometimes a bidding war on those houses. But the point is, is that houses that are priced correctly and they're nice do not stay on the market long here. And then you've got the other houses, which are, you know, they're priced, but they're not fixed up. And because of how the market has been here recently, those homes that aren't fixed up have been selling for top tier prices. And folks, when they move here, they just don't like that. And then you start to get into the uncertainty of, okay, now I'm gonna buy this house. I've gotta do all this work to it. 
And then if I'm only here for a little while just to work, why would I buy a house? Because am I gonna be able to sell it is the next question. Now there's always the, the option of renting a home, but you know that's just another factor in there that you might not wanna worry about. And so finding a home here in Midland is and can be a little bit of a struggle depending on what your price range is. Number four. Number four is the fact that we're out here in the desert, right? If you are looking for uh, great scenery, then this is not the place to find it at. If, you're, if you've got allergies, there's dust, there's pollen, everything blowing around here. Now, if you're from here, you're just used to it. You like it, you love it, you, you just can actually deal with it. I actually love the heat, I love being here and I don't have a problem with it being flat. Now, in my former life, when I was in the Air Force, I moved here from Destin, Florida. And so if you are a native to Destin, Florida, and then you come to Midland, Texas, it's just drastically different. The way I would describe it is night and day. If you don't know where Destin, Florida is, I don't know where you've been. Well, I can't say that because I had no clue where it was until I got stationed there. But check out Destin, Florida. Look at the scenery, sugar, sand, beaches, and then you come to Midland, Texas, and it's just flat desert. And so for some people, they just can't handle that. It's like, man, I need some scenery, I need some hills, I need to go somewhere where there's some water out here, just oil field, and just, <laughs> and just flat land. So that's one of the other reasons why people, uh, people wanna move out. And then lastly, the last reason why I see people moving out of the area is just that uh, they don't know what the lifestyle of the oil field is, right? So if you're here in the Permian Basin or in the Midland area, you're probably moving here for oil. Oil is the number one industry here. And with that, there comes a culture. There comes a culture here, a way of life, a way of working. We work super, super hard. You work out in the field, you work in remote areas around town. Midland Odessa are really the hub uh, for the Permian Basin. And then you've got a lot of smaller little towns around where a lot of folks are gonna be working or if you're in the oil field, you're gonna be working as well. And sometimes people just aren't used to the commute or they're just not used to being out in remote locations and then having to drive back and work in long hours. It is normal for people to be working 70, 80 hours a week. And uh, that's why we say this is a great place to build a family. It's a great place for opportunity. And it's a great place to get a good start because if you have a desire to work, then this is the place to be. You need to have a game plan for what you're gonna do when you're here. Because if you don't and you just work, you definitely, definitely will get burned out. And so I think people see that whenever they get here. They see that, uh, okay, this isn't what I thought it was. Or they see like, I can actually see myself doing something and building here and they do that or they cut it short real quick. They're just like, okay, I saw what that was. It's not what I thought it was gonna be and I don't see myself actually doing anything long-term here. If you're not gonna be in the oil field, there's not a lot of other industries here for you to get into. Now we do have a few other industries, but it's just not as diverse as somewhere else that you would be at. And so if you're not in the oil industry or you don't have skills, for the oil and gas industry, then you're probably better off going somewhere else. All right, so those are my top five reasons why people are leaving the area. If you're still here, I wanna hear what you think. Let me know down in the comments below and we'll catch you on the next one.